Hello and welcome to a brand new season of 420 Grams, the only Indian football podcast that you need to listen to. Now, it's a bit strange I'm saying podcast, but yet you can look at my pretty face. That's because we found a new home at newsclick.in. We're sitting here in the Newsclick studios and with us is, of course, Mr. Arjun Pandit, who's joining in from his lovely home in Bombay. Pandit, what is today in store, yaar? Nice. First of all, thank you so much that we have come to the audio from 420 grams from audio. आपने अपनी तारीफ कर दी मैं अपनी तारीफ भी करता हमारी भी शक्ल थोड़ी प्रिटी है नाद होके आए हैं क्योंकि टू टू दिस ऑन अ वीकली बेसिस राइट सो मच टू टॉक अबाउट इन इंडियन फुटबॉल दैट पीपल डोंट इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट की मतलब कौन सुनेगा कौन इसकी बातें करेंगे हम करेंगे इन सब की बातें लेकिन आज पहले एपिसोड के लिए भाई कुछ स्पेशल है बहुत ही स्पेशल है वन स्पेशल है बिल्कुल स्पेशल है इनफैक्ट सुनील छेत्री इज मेड दी एफर्ट ऑफ रिकवरिंग फ्रॉम इंजरी to play his 150th game for Bangalore FC, especially for this, uh, this episode. And we've managed to put together, if uh, I may say so myself, quite a killer lineup, yeah? So, yeah, that was, this show is all about celebrating Sunil Chetri, celebrating the legend of Sunil Chetri. So what we've, of course, tried to do is get a lot of people, former players, his friends, and give reactions of his timeline. From that Delhi boy to now the star, the superstar that he is, of uh, Indian football. Uh, thode naam bata do bhai, aaj kaun hai list pe? It starts all the way from Chima. And it ends with uh, young boys like Udanta coming into the fray. So it's pretty much like three, four generations of Indian football wrapped into this one story celebrating uh, Mr. Chetri's accomplishment so far. Mr. Bhai Chung Bhutia, Mr. Renidi Singh, Mr. Golmangi Singh, Mehraj Udin Wadu, Stephen Dias, Remember all these guys who we grew up sort of uh, chasing, following, criticizing a hell of a lot. Kitni gali diye in sabko. And of course, we've got the Bengaluru contingent as well. We've got John Johnson giving us a crazy tale about Sunil after they won the title. And they've got uh, big man Eric Parthalu. And of course, Gurpreet. So, I'm really looking forward to this. So, Dilli wale bhi kuch hai, jinko mein hai, aur hai kuch hai Sunil ki during their Santosh Trophy days. So, the whole the whole range is covered, huh? So, the whole the whole range is covered, from junior football to uh, I League to or NFL as it was called back then, then going into Santosh Trophy of course in between, and then the ISL national team. Kafi kuch hai. So let's get get straight to it. Who are we going to first, yeah, Pandit? We're joined by now former India player Ishfaq Ahmed, who has a very nice story about uh, under 19 football or when Jammu and Kashmir were playing Delhi. Hi guys. Uh... First of all, uh, congratulations to uh, Sunil, you know, like one more achievement in playing 150 matches for a club, one of the club he played and uh, like he's a great inspiration to all the young footballers like who want to have a good career in football. Well, uh, I want to share something uh, about Sunil, you know, when uh, it's long back, I think it's around um, 18 years back. When we used to play age groups, like I was uh, playing age group, representing JNK, and he was uh, representing leading Delhi, and I was the captain of the JNK. So somebody told me hey, there is this guy, you know, like who is a very good player, and we have to be careful. We had a match again against them in Jammu. Uh, I don't know whether Sunil will be remembering this. So it was a. Uh, I want, we we all went to see Delhi's match and I saw this guy, they, they, somebody pointed me towards Sunil and he looked like that chubby chubby guy, that uh, chocolate boy type but uh, uh, when I saw him playing, he was really brilliant, you know, like uh, and then I realized, uh, okay, he's the guy and they were talking about him, he was absolutely brilliant. Now, uh, I don't know if you guys know this but uh, the origins of Mr. Arjun Pandit also happened around the same time in the same city of New Delhi. So, you were playing with these boys. Was it like that when, when you guys showed up for a camp or, or you were playing club level football? When yeah, he was he easily a cut above? Yeah bro, so, so what uh, Shwak is talking about is the under-19 nationals in Jammu and Kashmir. Chetri and I went to play the under-19 nationals for Delhi in Thiruvananthapuram. 
एंड प्रायर टू दैट ऑफकोर्स कैंप लगा था उससे पहले वी यूज टू प्ले स्कूल लेवल फुटबॉल आई यूज टू प्ले फॉर मॉडर्न स्कूल वी यूज टू प्ले फॉर प्रोबेबली द बेस्ट फुटबॉलिंग स्कूल एट दैट टाइम इन डेली विच इज कॉल्ड ममता मॉडर्न एंड दे वर नोन टू गेट टैलेंटेड प्लेयर्स ऑल ओवर फ्रॉम डेली एंड हु वुड देन कॉन्सेंट्रेट हेवली ऑन फुटबॉल दैट स्कूल वॉज लाइक स्पेशलाइजिंग इन द ब्यूटिफुल गेम and from the very word go the first time i saw him play is in a school level game you knew there was something special about this guy aur wo aaram se ball aa rahi thi turn kar raha tha khiladiyon ko aur ja ke goal goal maar raha tha and it's not like ki hum log itne bhi bakwas the but there was something different about him then i remember the under 19 camp for the thiruvananthapuram uh, nationals that we went for when i went in there the first day i went there and this guy is touching the ball he's doing this and that and in in of course in the game in the school game i didn't know who he was and then again i see this boy at the camp and he is of course he's a cut above the rest the way his touches the way he's moving around and of course he's very energetic if you if you know chhetri on the field and if you know him off it and you know him personally then you know that he's a very energetic guy he's very pumped up always so isko dekha and i asked yaar ye kaun hai banda yaar usne hamare us time bhi hamari matlab rail laga di thi when we were playing in school level football and these are like yaar ye banda sunil chhetri hai and uh, there's something special about this guy ye banda bahut dur jane wala hai and no surprises because he was playing in city club in delhi and i think at the age of 17 it was a uh, nigerian great and i love to say great because of what he's done in indian football chima kari saw him and uh, called up his connections in mohan bagan saying that look there is a special talent here you might not have seen him because at that time the scouting network or so if i may say wasn't that great and delhi clubs would never really make it that far in the durand cup which was probably the only place where national team clubs would come and you could probably see teams and lesser known players at that time so chima of course called them up mohan bagan duly obliged and they handed him a 3 year contract and that's where sunil chhetri's journey really began in indian football and what a team he went into yeah a team i mean like if calcutta football was the mecca of indian football then at that time mohan bagan and the squad they had put together i mean was something else so i think without too much more let's go to two of these legends who were legends. already sort of running calcutta back 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 then mr bhaichung bhutia and mr renedi singh who are going to tell us quick stories about a young sunil chhetri landing up in calcutta and what happened in the first few first few months of that arrival No, I think when he first came and signed for Mohan Mohan, I was there, and I was one of the senior players there, and that was his first year. And uh, you know, when uh, I I still know, you know, he and another few of younger players were there. They were quite talented. In fact, the other player called Ashim Ashimus was together, and um, they were new. And Sunil obviously had talent. Both of them, in fact, Ashim as well, and. Uh, So it was important for senior players because when I went as junior player, it was important. A lot of you know senior players does make you very comfortable and make your life uh, dressing room to on and off the field uh, much more uh, comfortable for you to settle down. So as a senior player, obviously it was important for me also to see the junior players there who are you know there in the club to make them feel comfortable. And Sunil obviously uh, being from the same region and all that was always very. Rose and Bali with me. Mm. In fact, he and Asim used to come to my house mm. every Sunday. These boys were all staying in a mess uh, in somewhere in Central Calcutta. So weekends okay. they used to come to my place, yeah. eat food, play with uh, play around in the house. We used to play in house cricket, um, badminton, a lot of other small games. And going back used to be always challenge because these guys always ask for money to go in taxi. So I never did it. <laughs> I made sure that I want to pay them hundred rupees to go back on taxi, so that they go in bus. So, but it was struggle. I knew they managed to take hundred rupees and go back in taxi. So, you know, it was more. Uh, they were more comfortable. They didn't. Uh, I made sure that they didn't feel awkward in terms of on and off the field. And uh, and I think when a young player is happy and does a lot of, uh, you know, he settles up well, then he starts performing well. I think uh, he finds that very very funny when, <laughs> when I'm off the field, uh, and uh, he's always there because off the field we all gel really well. And mm. uh, Sunil always finds it very very funny when I speak and tell him jokes, and obviously I tell jokes to all all the fans uh, thinking of this. But on the field, I think uh, with us, uh, 
you know, I think it's been for him as well. I'm sure he will also mention that we had great bunch of uh, players when he played, and when I was captain, I had great uh, guys in the team, and we all as a team gelled really well. The way Sunil has been playing in last so many years, it's been brilliant. I just want him to continue doing the same. The player, the young player who are playing with him in the Indian national team and even in the club side can learn a lot from him. He is one of the best examples India has got. So Sunil, keep going brother. You have been doing great. Just continue doing the same work. I can never forget the Reebok shoes and the baggy jeans Sunil was wearing when he came for the first time to Calcutta. I think it was he was 17 or 16 when he joined Mohan Bagan. He only had that shoes and jeans. He was wearing that for months and months and sweeping the whole floor of Park Street. But now look where he is. And he was such a fat ass from Delhi. And now look, he is one of the fittest guy in the team. While they're talking to you about Chetri in some personal instances, like Bhai Chung said that, and Bhai Chung and Chetri in that conversation that we had with Bhai Chung, which was a couple of years back, he always mentioned that Chetri and I gelled very well together because of our origins, because of the Nepalese origins and, you know, and I always took on him like an elder brother. We asked him that, was, it, was, it, was there a first impression that he made as soon as he came to Mohan Bagan? And Bhai Chum said, look, at that time, I don't remember much because there were so many other good players his age. Ashim Biswas is something mentioned as well. So, in the first year of Mohan Bagan, it was actually pretty tough for him. You know, like Renity also mentioned, he was a little chubby, you know. Or uske baad, once you get into the groove and once you get into that normal training, that regimen of playing with top class players where you have to be ready, you have to be switched on every day for your practice sessions. I think it took him about one and a half years to really understand where he was. And you know, what all he needed to do to survive and then of course be successful at that level. We were founding out... Uh, stats from statistician Gautam Roy and he said in his three years at Mohan Bagan during the NFL he managed scoring 10 goals that's not too bad bro for yeah. a 17 year old 18 19 year old right three so years break into squad in get enough time and score 10 goals I mean mm -hmm. it doesn't sound a lot but if you put it in the context of who the other guys were who were playing in these positions week in week out or Pareto Bhai Chung yeah I know, man. It was really tough to break that. But remember the conversation we had with Rishi Kapoor once over Chetri, where he said, Zada time nahi mila usko. But whenever he would get time, he looked very sharp. Ek do chance milte goal ke saamne, goal maata tha. And impact goals, I guess, also. He has this thing uh, where he, when the occasion demands it, I guess ups his level a little bit more. Like, of, of course, we're now going across two decades, but... I keep talking about the game against Kyrgyzstan because that goal was just like something extraordinary because of how important it was in terms of India's qualification process and and the kind of the decent strength of the opposition that we were playing against. So, uh, amazing how he manages to find another gear from somewhere and jab chance hai, to usko le lo. And I'm glad you brought up uh, national team because our next set of stories are surrounding Sunil Chetri and his time. Of course, he's still in the national team, but uh, of his time in the national team with players who've been with the, uh, for the national team in the past. So now, next up is Mehrajuddin Badu, Goramangi Singh, and Stephen Dyer is telling us their Sunil Chetri stories while they were together in the national team. Hi, I just want to congratulate Sunil Chetri for uh, getting his 150th appearance with the Bengaluru FC. I have a story to share here uh, with the national team uh, when we were in uh, Vancouver. Canada, um, Canada Nations Cup के लिए गए थे। 2006 की बात है। Bob Houghton coach थे तो हम वहाँ पे गए थे खेलने के लिए। तो एक पंजाबी family थी वहाँ पे जो हमारा एक दोस्त था मंजीत सिंह, वो भी national team के लिए खेल रहा था। उसने invite किया हमको lunch के लिए। Sunil मुझे और मंजीत को। तो हम लोग बहुत खुश होके गए। भाई आज पंजाबी खाना मिलेगा वहाँ पे। तो आज पूरा दबा के खाएं तो सुनील मैं और मंजीत गए और कुछ पंजाबी बंदे भी थे वहाँ पे वो भी साथ में थे तो सुनील हम लोग जब अंदर घुस गए तो घर में क्या खुशबू आ रही थी पंजाबी खाने की पराठे बन रहे थे तो सुनील ने बोला हम सब ने बोला कि आज तो दवा के खाएंगे भाई खाना आज तो छोड़ेंगे नहीं कुछ ऐसे फिर हम खाना खाने के लिए बैठ गए तो हमारी फ्रेंड की एक वाइफ थी वहाँ पर तो उसने जैसे ही खाना परोसना स्टार्ट कर दिया 
एक रोटी खाई तो दूसरी रोटी खाने वाले तो सुनील के दिमाग में पता नहीं क्या आ गया भाई मेरा कैमरा किधर गया आ, तो सब हो गया यार सुनील का कैमरा किधर गया वो डिजिटल कैमरा होता था उस टाइम में तो उसको हम यूज़ करते थे नेशनल टीम में पिक्चर्स खींचने के लिए या फिर सब सोचने लगे कि कहाँ गया कैमरा अब सोचने अब सुनील बोला भाई मेरा कैमरा मेरा कैमरा मेरा कैमरा कहाँ गया तो हम खाना ही उधर छोड़ गए फिर सोचे नहीं अभी पहले सुनील का कैमरा हमको तो ढूंढना पड़ेगा कैसे भी तो सुनील ने बोला भाई शायद मैं प्रैक्टिस ग्राउंड में छोड़ के आया सुबह तो हमने खाना ऐसे ही छोड़ दिया प्रैक्टिस ग्राउंड जो हमारा था वो एक घंटा दूर था वहाँ से वैनकूवर में तो सब वो बेचारे पंजाबी लड़के भी मंजीत भी मैं भी सब ढूंढने गए सुनील का कैमरा वहाँ पे वहाँ पे सिक्योरिटी गार्ड्स को पूछा भाई कहाँ है कहीं कैमरा तो नहीं देख किसी ने कुछ बोला नहीं पुलिस के पास गए वहाँ भी कंप्लेंट की कुछ हुआ नहीं फिर थक के वापस आ गए चलो ठीक है यार भी होटल वापस चलते हैं रास्ते में ही गाड़ी में सबको नींद चढ़ गई थी जैसे होटल में पहुँच गए तो चलो अपने अपने रूम में चलते हैं तो फिर थोड़ा सा रेस्ट ले लेते हैं तो जैसे सुनील अपने रूम में गया ना तो उसने देखा कि कैमरा जो था उसके जूते में था फुटबॉल जूते में उसने रखा था तो जैसे ही वो उसने देखा कैमरा वो बहुत खुश हो गया और हमको सुनाने लगा और जैसे हमने ऐसा सुनाना हम सब उसके पीछे ऐसे भाग गए उसको मारने के लिए तो वो एक अच्छा अच्छा अच्छी एक स्टोरी थी जो हम हमेशा डिस्कस करते हैं जब सुनील और मैं मिलते हैं तो मैं इसके बारे में उसको बोलता हूँ भाई तुमने हमको वो पंजाबी खाना खाने नहीं दिया तो सुनील आपके लिए एक मैसेज है यू हैव बीन डूइंग वेल इन योर कैरियर सो आई जस्ट वांट टू विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर अपकमिंग गेम्स गॉड ब्लेस यू हाय आई लाइक टू कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट माय ब्रदर सुनील छेत्री फॉर इज 150 फिफ्टी अपेरेंस आई रिमेंबर वी टू प्ले स्मॉल साइडेड गेम एंड नेशनल टीम and whenever he is to lose he is to come back in the room he is to do his extra training he is to do abs core and get ready for the next training session that make sure that he will win the next day that's how it shows like he is a real professional player and he hate losing no matter what it's in the ps game carrom table tennis so he hate losing so i learned so many things from him i wish him all the success in his life all the best brother take care and see you soon hi sir congratulations on your 150th match for bangalore fc it is a great achievement you have had a great run and just keep on going and wish you all the best for your upcoming matches good luck man your hard work and dedication should be an inspiration for everyone I still remember this one time when we went to Malaysia for a match. After the match, by the time we got into the hotel room, it was it was already late. And the next day, we got an early flight back home. I clearly remember the next morning when I went down to the pool for my recovery session. You had already done your recovery session in the gym and. later on you join me in the pool while the rest of the boy took it easy probably that's what that's that's what that sets you apart from the rest so incredible how quickly time goes by a lot of these guys when i mean the last time india was playing the asian cup in 2011 all these guys mehraj uh, mangi steven Sunil so these guys were like the young guys that were the core of Bob Houghton's team at that time and uh, it was great to see the uh, sort of camaraderie and the, the whole spirit that they built up around this team yeah what you were talking about earlier spending so much time together and all of that but also like how much of this small story that we picked up on which is this guy's 150 games how much it like goes on to link to the larger story of indian football again now we are back uh, to the next edition of the asian cup and sunil is one of only two surviving members in that team right so let's get into a little bit about how his career with the national team started and how he became a regular and sort of started becoming such a major part he's today the highest scoring international in the history of this country 
and small small things that he hates losing yaar he just doesn't like losing and it's not something that's come into him while he was in the national team only i've seen this with him during his delhi days as well the level might be different of course but uh, that when that desire to always win small things like we said this in the past also whenever there's a warm up going on he's the first guy in front right he's leading the warm up whether he's the captain or not he's leading the warm up he's right there up front these small things tell you something about a player that desire to always win that desire to always improve i mean even bhai chung in that conversation that we had with him he said bhai chung said that i was lucky enough to lead a team that had some really great camaraderie in there and you know always they would be taking and this is what he said exactly they were always be taking the mickey out of each other and it was really a good environment you know in a part of a team like you said these are all young boys at that time and they play the 2011 asian cup so it was very important that the environment that they were in is not something that they would feel overawed in so as to then go out there and perform and they were not they were all very good friends till date renedi bhai chung sunil mangi steven i mean we just had to make one phone call ah sidan to steven to mangi to mehraj to ishfaq to renedi and we had to ask them could you please send one video message उन्होंने एक चू नहीं करी भाई देर हाँ जल्दी जल्दी भेज रहे हैं he's winning off he's winning off a little bit you know he is still at the very highest level still extremely fit technically and physically it's a good one good point that you brought up about being not uh, get, allowing youngsters to feel comfortable and not get overawed by the situation i remember at the hotel at at the 2011 asian cup the team hotel because we were in this really screwed up group right we we had australia and south korea in our group So there are these guys, Tim Cahill, and all these guys, Premier League players who are staying in the same hotel as as our our boys. But when you landed up at that hotel in the evenings, particularly like after dinner, you'd see in the lobby it was full on. मतलब कब्जा कर रखा था वहाँ पे, अपना अड्डा बना रखा था. There'd be at any point most of the team, ah, and there were no sort of divisions. Of course, people had issues going on. I mean, twenty five, thirty boys. टूगेदर फॉर सो लॉन्ग कहीं ना कहीं ऑल प्रो एथलीट्स तो कहीं ना कहीं ईगो क्लैश तो होगा ही बट डिस्पाइट ऑल दैट यूड सी द होल ग्रुप काइंड ऑफ कॉन्ग्रीगेटिंग पीपल वुड कम एंड गो बट एवरी वन वुड बी इन एंड आउट ऑफ दैट सर्कल यू नो यू नो इट वॉज रियली रियली ग्रेट टू सी द होल एटमोसफियर दैट दे दीज गैज मैनेज टू क्रिएट एंड एंड सुनील आई थिंक एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफकोर्स ही वॉज ऑलरेडी Mm, established in the national team but at that point the transition the leadership transition had also started to happen right yeah. where bai chung was kind of uh, waning his career down denedi all these guys were kind of heading towards the latter stages of their careers and sunil was assuming that uh, leadership role in the team so that was also pretty and cool. you know i think he's he's the kind of guy who embraces leadership yeah it yeah. comes very naturally, naturally to him you know Yeah. And sometimes, like when you take a look at people who are captaining sides, who are leading sides, it doesn't seem to fit them. What the? But but this guy it just seems to come very naturally. He seems to be the kind of guy that if someone from another opposition team is uh, trying to act funny with a younger player from his team, he'll be the first guy. Say, oh, you're just playing. You're just passing on my kid. And that does a lot. It makes a big difference. Yeah, huge difference in terms of respect. You ask any of these Bengaluru boys, you ask Udanta and all these guys, they will all say that he treats them like a younger brother and a, like a friend. Like whenever you see these Bengaluru boys, whenever you bump into them during the ISL, he's always surrounded by the younger lot. There's Gurpreet, there's Udanta, there's Harmanjot Singh Khabra, and he's the senior member. But all of them, you can see the glint in their eyes when they're around him, and he's always one of the main guys having the conversations. And these are not football conversations; these are all just fun conversations that friends would have. क्रिकेट 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 के बारे में बहुत बात करते हैं ये नहीं पता मैं इट्स अ बैटिंग बैटिंग फ्रेंडली स्पोर्ट लेट्स जस्ट पुट इट दैट 
बहुत बढ़िया सेगवे भाई तो ऐसा करते हैं सीधा बेंगलुरु कंटिजेंट के पास जाते हैं और सुनते हैं उनकी क्या कहानियां हैं नाउ वी नो सुनील इज अ अल्ट्रा कॉम्पिटिटिव गाय यू नो फ्रॉम प्लेइंग टेबल टेनिस एट द ट्रेनिंग ग्राउंड टू यू नो ट्राइंग टू स्कोर अ 90th मिनट विनर ही इज वेरी कॉम्पिटिटिव सो आई फाउंड इट क्वाइट फनी इन प्री सीजन एक्चुअली ही चैलेंजस बदांत टू uh basically a, a body fat contest and said to Adanta that uh you've got you know five or six weeks to get ready uh for the pre-season and on the first day of pre-season we're going to take a photo and see who's got the best body fat and so Neil knew that he was working for the World Cup commentary and going to be in the gym every day eating well and to be fair he he looked in tremendous shape and he still is uh but he came back the first day of pre-season and Adanta just did nothing i think the whole off season and still had a lower percentage with the uh, body fat than him so uh he's always trying to push his limits and uh you know he's a great guy and very competitive but uh this time he lost out to Adanta mate <sighs> so i don't know where to start uh with this topic because as big as the man as big as his story uh he's a true example uh sunil bhai it's always a privilege uh, to play with him uh even in the national team and with bfc uh i've been trying to uh, think the whole day uh stories uh but i can't can't think of any because uh you know uh, it's it's difficult uh, to find many all i know is uh that he's a hungry man hungry for goals hungry uh for a win uh for bfc or for the national team and he's a true example uh on and off the pitch and uh the progression he has uh, showed in recent years is just due to uh his hard work and uh, his determination uh to reach the top uh which is a true example uh, in itself and uh, it inspires me uh, as a person and as a player and uh, you know seeing him uh, make uh, his 150th appearance for bengaluru fc uh makes me dream uh, also uh, to achieve such feat uh, for this club and uh, hopefully you know uh, he doesn't retire soon because we need him apart from all his uh, terrific goals and his um unbelievable dis- displays over the years uh, sunil is a brilliant athlete and obviously the first season he doesn't drink alcohol so the first season i uh, landed in bangalore he promised me if we won the we won the league in the first season he would uh, he would have a drink with me so i held him to this and so it went on and we ended up winning the league and we were in goa which uh, is a fantastic place to enjoy the party so we goes out on this first night after winning our league and I asked Sonal if he would have a drink with us to celebrate winning the title and um yeah Sonal decided to uh, have a shot so I gave him one small shot and then the next thing you know Sonal being Sonal got a little bit carried away and asked uh, everybody for a shot and I'm sat there laughing knowing that it's going to hit him hard in the next 20 minutes and all be it all Sonal's had about five shots in less than 5 minutes um so yeah is is um his celebrations of our first title lasted all around 1 hour and he went home and threw up all over and he was uh, really ill the next day <laughs> so that was uh, my greatest memory of sunil yeah i have to say i love uh, john johnson's story man hmm. it, was, it was brilliant i remember i called up john i got his number through paul maysfield and i said can you please hand me his number we want uh, a story on sunil and of course john has been there since the inception of bengaluru oh, fc yeah. and he's he's very close uh, with all these guys he has a relationship with that team and you know it's the first time i'm talking to john right and uh, i said hi john uh, we're doing a small uh, chat on sunil celebrating the fact that he's got 150 appearances hmm. so could you please send us uh, a video on this and please send me something a friend would tell me about i don't want the formal television type conversations <coughs> hmm. he's had nothing he said perfect mate i'm just going to send you right now within 5 minutes bhai पांच मिनट में उस बंदे ने वीडियो भेजा है एंड व्हाट अ स्टोरी यार वी ऑल रिमेंबर दैट टाइम व्हेन वन ऑफ अस हैज गॉन ओवरबोर्ड विद द ड्रिंकिंग वी नॉट टू मच ऑफ अ ड्रिंकर और फिर उसके बाद जो दबा के उल्टियां हुई है बेंगलुरु की अगर बात करो यू आर राइट लाइक यू सेड इट अर्लियर 
don't think uh, he is going to go anywhere now. And and I'm I'm not talking talking about his playing career. I think beyond his playing career, also I think Sunil and Bengaluru FC are going to share a very long relationship. Whenever you talk to him about the club, there's a smile on his face, man. It feels like home. And I don't think he's spoken like that about too many other clubs. Uh, that's why he was their marquee signing. Remember when they were making yeah, the inception? Sure. They said we want one marquee signing, and boy oh boy, that was the biggest signing. Yeah, you have to give credit to Bengaluru that they made the approach for Sunil Chhetri. He was playing at Churchill Brothers that time. Remember, he had come back from uh, Portugal, Portugal, I think. Yeah. Gone to Churchill to play the I League to get uh, match time, hmm. and then Bengaluru swooped in and of course got him. And that was a master stroke. Yeah. Game the way Bengaluru fans, the way the team has taken to him, the way he's taken to the team. He's bought into the culture, and uh, it's it's it looks like a perfect mix, a match made in heaven. I'm not surprised. I won't be surprised, in fact, if he goes on to do his badges, and uh, probably if we see him as Sunil Chhetri, the coach, one day. Possibly, yeah. I I wouldn't rule that out. I mean, I I think it's a bit early to still like let's no, look forward to another, another two TV years of him scoring game. goals. हाँ थोड़ा टीवी एक्सपर्ट बनेंगे थोड़ी फ्लैशिंग लाइट्स में काम होंगे मेकअप वेकअप लगेगा कुछ साल बट आई वोट बी सरप्राइज इफ ही इज ऑन द साइड वर्किंग ऑन इज बैचेस बैचेस सॉरी एंड देन आफ्टर अ फ्यू इयर्स व्हेन यू नो व्हेन यू फील लाइक द डिजायर टू रिटर्न बैक टू फुटबॉल वोट बी सरप्राइज इफ ही डिसाइड्स टू गो बैक टू बेंगलुरु एंड ट्राई कोचिंग I have, yeah I mean it it is definitely like a match made somewhere somewhere else because at that time he'd come back things hadn't really changed in indian football uh at all so i think having spent those many years first at kansas city and then uh, at sporting training with or at least according to the standards that are world standards it would have been very difficult for i think chetri to come back and fit into just any other i league squad even if it's the biggest team in the country or whatever But, but fortunately for him and for in, uh, Indian football in general, Bangalore came in with a very different set of ideas. They brought in Ashley Westwood as coach, who had his pretty set idea of how pro- football needs to be run and how a team needs to, you know. And even when he came into Bangalore, yeah, the fact that first couple of games in the I League that first season, Chetty didn't start, you know. So Westwood made it clear that like okay maybe you are a name maybe you are the biggest name in Indian football but I will look at the players that are performing that fit into my system and that will work and give me what I want Of course it didn't take long for him to establish himself as an undroppable player mm. uh, I don't think any coach has wanted to bench him since but but the timing of it all I think Really, really worked out well, and since then he's, as we know now, he's settled in Bangalore. He's bought a, bought himself a little place there. I mean, it's home for him, and more than anything else, I think that for a guy who's been all over, you know, and a lot of these guys, yeah, you see now the seen more senior players, the guys who stopped playing, they're going back home, whether it's the Maharajas and and the Ishfaks who are going back to Kashmir and trying to do stuff there, uh, Mangi, Renedi, these guys. by chung in sikkim so they're all going back home and experiencing that sort of environment going back to their roots for the first time sunil with sunil of course delhi is his home but delhi is too i think massive and too uh, fragmented a place for but he seems to have laid down those roots that are missing here in uh, in bangalore so i think yeah definitely with the club and with the city that relationship seems like it's it's something that's Going well for everybody. Right, bro. Now it's time for our final set of people who sent in videos. These are not uh, his teammates, if I may say. One teammate from his Delhi days during the Santosh Trophy days, and two of his friends. Uh, one is a very good friend of his from Delhi, Sonu Lamba, who is still in touch with, and they're still very good friends. And another is Reese Mascarenas from Goa, who's known him very well from his time in Indian football. Reese, of course, is a good friend of many footballers uh, in this country, and they've sent us. these stories on sunil chetri hi sunil many many congratulations chote for making 150 appearance for the bangalore fc वैसे तो बहुत सारी यादें हैं मेरे पास तुम्हारी बट उनमें से सो सबसे ज्यादा जो मेरे को याद है जब तुम वो छोटे थे हम लोग दिल्ली स्टेट रिप्रेजेंट कर रहे थे चेन्नई में और हम लोग एकोमोडेशन की प्रॉब्लम फेस कर रहे थे 
सो so, इतना छोटे होते भी तुमने इतनी बड़ी बात बोली कि भाई आप जस्ट गो हैड और आई विल पे फ्रॉम माई पॉकेट सो वो मुझे कभी नहीं भूलेगी स्टिल मुझे याद रहेगी और यही जो तुम्हारी खूबी है और काबिलियत है जो तुम्हें आज यहाँ से इतना ऊपर तक ले गई है आई विश यू वेरी गुड लक फॉर योर फ्यूचर छोटे एंड बेस्ट ऑफ लक हाई गाइज एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन छेत्री भाई वन ऑफ द स्टोरी अबाउट छेत्री फ्रॉम इज चाइल्ड हुड ही वॉज फुल ऑफ हार्ट फ्रॉम वेरी फ्रॉम अ वेरी यंग एज ही वॉज सो हेल्पफुल ही ऑलवेज वॉन्टेड टू हेल्प एवरी वन If you ask him anything, he'll go out of his way to help you guys. So I remember we were in class eighth, and uh, I wanted to gift something to this friend of mine, and I had no money. So I told Chetty, "Why, please, I need two hundred bucks, man. I need two hundred bucks." Then he bunked his four classes, played volleyball with seniors, placed a bet, won two hundred rupees, and gave it to me. So that's one of the memory I have with him that whenever. anyone needed and he has done that for lot of other uh, friends of his so that's chetri one of the thing about him he has a big big heart i wish you lots and lots of more success chetri bhai god bless you thank you guys first of all congratulations to chetri for completing 150 appearances for bengaluru fc he deserves it uh, and if i could tell one story about chetri you know which stands out i would i would say he's always had this winning mentality be it on the field or even off the field i remember we used to have ps4 sessions uh, you know we used to play fifa and this guy used to always want to win he used to always want to win he never used to give up if he ended up losing it would be come on let's play one more game and if he had to lose that it would be one more game so you know we would never stop until he had to at least win the last game and i think it's a good thing it's a good thing it shows his character and i think that's what made him very successful this guy he just never gives up just chetri sabse zyada pade ki baat to ye hai ki i mean from these videos it's clear to make out who spends the most amount of time on social media all the footballers have sent vertical videos ha huh? aise karke selfie camera wale jo do bande hain jo instagram pe i guess itna nahi karte sonu and rees unhone horizontal bheja hai um couple of insights into what kind of a guy he is i think he's a very uh, honest guy man i think that's the best way to put it bro in a in a day and age when uh, people are putting out a certain image of themselves and you know and where a certain image helps them in getting a certain type of endorsements or a certain kind of fame he is still a very honest guy i uh, met his uh, people who are representing him in bangalore and uh, those guys represent quite a few cricketers as well and the first thing they said is yaar kya banda hai he is unlike any other sportsman we've met because he's so honest he's so downright and you know rooted if i may say you know uh, sunil i think the thing is then that in this culture that we live in football or sports if i may say people are not very articulate right sportsmen at least in the growing up stages even now if you see and so he is someone who's come from a good background he's got good education so he speaks he speaks his mind and sometimes that is mistaken for arrogance but that is not the case he is someone who's always he's the kind of guy who will always have his teammates back man and he's someone who won't forget even someone he's been playing from his delhi days like sometimes when i meet him and i talk strike up a conversation on delhi football he's like yeah yeah unse kabhi kabhi main milta hu baat cheet hote rehti hai till date if you task anyone in delhi football about him they will smile and they will have a conversation or a story about him about what he used to do you know they fondly remember him and the way people remember you tells you about the kind of legacy you left behind and i'm guessing it's the same with bengaluru man 10 years down the line agar aap kisi bhi bengaluru fc ke player ya fans ya coaches ke se baat karoge sunil ke bare mein and while you have those small little things of politics in a team wo sab jagah hoti hain yeah yeah i mean no one is claiming that yeah. everyone love like he has no grey areas or like he's yeah. always I'll, perfect I, that's not yeah. the idea I, i love that and the fact is that he is what you see is what you get and for someone of that level i think that is highly commendable yeah. for someone who's reached the level that he is and we guys we guys really like it because we've seen him grow 
वेरी यस एंड आई एम नॉट सेइंग वी प्लेड अ पार्ट बट यू यू नो छाती थोड़ा चौड़ी हो जाती है व्हेन यू सी दिस गाय आई रिमेंबर व्हेन ही वाज टचिंग हिज 100th कैप फॉर इंडिया जो इंटरकॉन्टिनेंटल कप में उसका हुआ था I sent him a message and I generally don't do these happy birthdays on Twitter or you know I wish you all the very best. I don't like doing this bullshit at all. But I this time I generally made an exception. I didn't put it on Twitter. I decided to send him a message and I said, "Listen, bro, uh, I remember uh, I wish you all the very best for tonight's game, and I feel extremely proud that I shared a dressing room with you, and it is a story that I will forever tell my children as well." that i shared a dressing room with a legend like you all the very best for tonight hope you enjoy the game don't worry about the score and all because we guys will definitely enjoy it watching it on television 10 minutes the response came thank you so much arjun appreciate it cheers hmm? ab ab i wasn't expecting a heart ka emoji aa jayega wahan pe thoda zyada hoya tha but you got ki the very few people you genuinely want to do it for yeah, yeah. you know and he is one of those guys i think he is the the model uh, the model sportsman that we have in our country not only does he inspire people on the field but he'll inspire people off it as well and trust me when his playing days are over he will definitely not be over because he's going to find something to do whether it be coaching or whether it be on television where he's of course speaking from his heart and that comes through you know when someone is honest on television and you're a viewer of course yeah uh, it's clear that that it it comes through it comes through it. that the guy is honest you know when someone is fabricating something or you know when someone is trying to be very correct or politically correct dikh jata hai uske mamle mein aisa hai nahi wo jo bolta hai sahi bolta hai bahut acha bolta hai there was once youtube pe main ek uska ek clip dekh raha tha he was with manoj bajpayee and he comes from press conference or something or the other and uh, these guys are asking uh, manoj bajpayee some question then they ask sunil a question very point blank he said over there he said dekho yaar aap log मनोज बाजपेयी है यहाँ पे स्टेज पे इसलिए मेरे से सवाल पूछ रहे हो वरना हमसे कोई सवाल पूछता है नहीं ठीक है हमारे देश में क्या है कि जो जब तक टॉप पे नहीं पहुंचता ना हम उसकी कदर करते नहीं तो मतलब जो सेकंड थर्ड फोर्थ फिफ्थ सिक्स है जिसने ऑलमोस्ट पहुंचने से रह गया उसकी कोई कदर है नहीं इस देश में ब्यूटिफुली पुट लाइन मैन ऑल द रिपोर्टर्स चुप साइलेंट रिपोर्टर्स लाइक अस no these are all very important points yeah. and in the context of today when because of social media athletes sports people are so they are popular across right yeah. aapke he started aap... a bit of man ki baat ha sunil chetri ki baat bilkul yaar matlab mere hisab se to bina uh, all india radio ke hi zyada log wo sun lenge but politics aside aap jisko bhi vote dein aap jo bhi kare ya whatever you might believe in in terms where you, where you come from the chances are at some level you relate to some sports character some sports person at some level irrespective of what sport it is and and therefore the power that these guys have or the responsibilities that they have are also equally large right and he's one of those guys despite the fact that now he's reached that very top and people who reach the top also have the most to lose in in any situation they get the most trolling the most fallout i mean they they have the biggest contracts on the line they are the ones yeah. with the endorsements etc etc yet this guy has made sure to say it like it is of course he does his he fulfills his responsibility as a brand ambassador i'm sure to anyone like you said the guys managing him are really happy with uh, how he works as a professional so so that's part of the job and you have to do that at the same time when an issue comes up when there's something he feels it's important to speak out about he goes ahead and does it and that's something i mean the system tries to put pressure on all these guys right you're saying that a lot of sports people or athletes are not articulate a lot of it has to do with also how we our preconceptions of what athletes are about like ye kya bolega yaar ye to matlab isne to 12th pass nahi kiya hai ya ye to kabhi college nahi gaya hai i mean shayad chhetri bhi college nahi gaya ho but sitting on stage with whether it's manoj bajpai or the prime minister of uh, some nation chetri doesn't come across a, as an uneducated or an unintelligent person and that has happened a through football and all that he has seen and learned because of the game right but also that he's been consistently unafraid to talk about i mean whether you, his his role at the football players association where they are constantly fighting for those second place third place the small guys whose contracts don't get honored 
you know, who, who don't get their salaries on time, who have other issues going on in, in terms of their work. Because at the end of the day, yeah. it's a job. Or even, even the fact that what he did right now, man, and even though I'm not in agreement with him, where he came out and gave that statement that uh, maybe the league winners of the ISL should be declared as winners and not the winners of the playoff. And while I don't agree with him on that, you wouldn't see too many sportsmen coming out there and giving a statement like that in a league you're playing, in a league yeah. in which your club is yeah. playing. Uh, I agree. Because the system, I mean, the establishment has become so, I mean, we only want to do PR. We, we only want everyone to, to constantly toe the official line, toe the party line, to stick to that just... He's not criticizing anyone. He's not saying anyone's at fault. He's, it's a personal thing for him because I know for a fact that him and all the Bangalore guys, they really enjoy and look forward to their time playing in Asia against the bigger competi- uh, teams. And having won the league by a wide, wide margin, eight points I think last year they were on top. To then lose the chance to play AFC Cup because you lose one kind of playoff final. I mean, it's... Anyway, let's not get into that conversation. Yeah. But it's yeah. a fair point for him to make, na? That we win the league. So, we are not saying that we give a trophy. Give us the AFC wala spot to win the league. After that, give us the trophy to win the final. My point being, I'm not, I'm not coming into that. My point is, that the truth is, हम अक्सर टीवी में बात करते हैं बोथ इन द ब्रॉडकास्ट वर्ल्ड एंड ऑल जो एक सच्चाई है वो दिखती है जो डॉक्टर्स सा एक सच है ना वो भी दिखता है एंड दिस सच्चाई इज व्हाट इज गोइंग टू टेक हिम वेरी फास्ट ट्रस्ट मी द लेजेंड ऑफ सुनील छेत्री ना इज जस्ट स्टार्टेड ब्रो इज जस्ट स्टार्टेड देयर इज गोइंग टू बी मेनी मेनी मोर इंस्टेंसेस वेयर दिस गाय इज गोइंग टू राइट हिज नेम डाउन इन हिस्ट्री हिज कंट्रीब्यूशन टू इंडियन फुटबॉल एंड वेदर इट बी हिज कंट्रीब्यूशन टू इंडियन स्पोर्ट्स इट हैज ओनली जस्ट बिगन माइंड यू it's only begun. No, no pressure, yeah, Sunil. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. No So, on that note, uh, Mr. Pandit, any closing statements or should we wind this up? And... So, so, closing statements only to all the people who've been so kind enough to send us their messages on WhatsApp. And, uh, you know, it just took one phone call yet again. If Sunil is watching this, bro, these guys love you. Just one phone call it took. And all these guys sent us in their messages. And I had to categorically tell them, bro, Juice dena. Ye doctored wale statement is dena. Ye thodi dosti wale statement dena. And that's where we got uh, what it is. So, big, big thank you to everyone, everyone who sent in these messages. I'm sorry for the editing that we had to do in terms of time, actually, because we got so much good stuff that we would have had to otherwise break this up into three parts or something. So, so thank you very much, guys, for that. Thank you, Mr. Panditji, for Next joining week, us. Bro. Next week, Not same time, bro. same place. Yep. See you then. Thanks for watching. On this occasion, uh, Siddhant requested me to share a few uh, uh, funny instances or uh, anecdotes uh, of yours when you were starting your career, football career. There is one instance that comes to my mind is uh, uh, the one the tote car suggested by your mom. You remember it was second year with uh, Mohan Bagan Athletic Club and uh, you had already four or five matches uh, with the National uh, League that went by without scoring any. And uh, you were a bit frustrated and uh, I think your frustration uh, you shared with your mom also. And your mom in turn uh, suggested you, suggested you uh, a typical totka, superstitious uh, belief uh, we often follow when things do not go the way we want. Uh, that was, uh, if you remember, it's uh, to offer white substance or uh, white items to the poor and needy people on the street. Uh, it you felt awkward, uh, but at the same time you accepted uh, the totka suggested by your uh, mom, and uh, the very next day you are out there in the street with uh, four or five packets of uh, milk, fresh milk, 
a uh, couple of t-shirts and shorts uh, looking for those needy people in the street there were many but uh, to your utter surprise none came forward to accept that rather you were chasing them and uh, persuading them persuading them uh, to accept that and uh, they were uh, they looked scared and uh, finally you could find uh, one old uh, street beggar and uh, he accepted then you 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 i think relieved uh i don't remember uh, if you could score uh, any in your next match but that was that and uh, this kind of funny moments anecdotes uh, when recollecting at the later stage of our life it gives us chuckle it gives smile and uh, that was that anyway chan we have been doing great uh keep uh, keep up the good work keep uh, motivating us keep making us proud make uh, keep uh, making country proud stay blessed i wish you many more laurels in life thank you